for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer, back again with part three of my Phobias 2014 haunt build, and today I'm going to be showing you the physical layout of my haunted house. If you've seen parts one and two, then you kind of know what to expect, but this is going to be the actual location where we have the haunted house. It's my grandparents' garage. Okay, so from about that door to here, we've got the snake room, and that's where they enter, by the way. Uh, before uh, we really get into it, these garage doors will be closed, that one will be open, and a sheet will be covering it with a slit in it. Slender Man goes outside. So the snakes, the snake room ends about there, and I'm not exactly sure what kind of props I'm going to be having there, but snakes, definitely. Not sure if I'm going to get a Medusa. I'm not sure. Then this area is going to be the dummy slash doll room. And what's really cool is Spirit Halloween is posting a new prop tonight of a doll. So I will definitely try to make a video if I'm going to get that. Then we've got the death room, which is all the way up to there. And that is going to consist of a Grim Reaper, two Grim Reapers, a Sam's Club one and a Jimmy one, and then Executioner. I'll have to make further videos explaining all of my props. Um, the only thing about this is I'm going to have to put a sign that says, you know, duck, because I don't want people to hit their head. Um, most of the time it's uh, kids, so they won't have to worry. But you can hit your head on it. I believe I actually hit my head on it. So, just, I'll have to make like an arrow or something, or pad it down. Last year I had to do the same thing. Then we've got the alien room, with the autopsy table, will probably be that small table. And they walk this way until you get into the zombie room, which is right where I'm standing. And that goes until about here. And we've got this chain that runs along, which will probably be a wall... And that is going to lead us into the claustrophobia area, going into the darkness area, and then right around there is the spider room. And then that'll end off that section of the haunted house. Then in this section, we've got the clown room, where we've got Thrashing Clown on that step, and Dead Humor is going to be around here, and then most of my props that I had last year for the haunted house, because last year's theme was the creepy carnival. Then we've got um, the clown room goes about to there, uh, around here. And then this is the room where Spasm will be. It's like an asylum. Then they will exit and get their candy right out this door. That is basically the haunted house. I'm going to try to get some hanging props for over here. But um, there will be much more, uh, many more videos along the way. This is just the start, but I just thought I'd show you an overview of what the haunted house will look like. Back there, is, we have so many options because of that um, lift, so we definitely have some great options. Also, these provide great areas to hang our tarps. So that's kind of an overview of the haunted house. Let me know what you think about it, if you have any ideas. And for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer.